Welcome back to the shop, guys. Uh, I've been, I've been thinking about it, but I was, I thought about it. You see a lot of people reviewing inside mics, but you never see people, you know, the big machinists on YouTube like A Bomb or Mr. Lipton, ever really using one. So uh, I picked up a pretty cheap one here from Banggood put a link to it in the description if you guys are interested not much of a video but it's uh, me kind of messing around with an inside mic and my conclusion at the end so I hope you enjoy stay safe see you next time been freezing cold outside move that up um, I had bought an inside caliper you know because I've got gauge pins all the way up to I forgot how big but a lot of times I need to accurately measure a large bore. I had bought uh, one inside caliper before, forgot where it came from, but it was just a terrible feeling, so it went back. This one's from Banggood. Uh, I figured, you know, dirt cheap, why not? So I'm expect, I think this is it. You know, it feels like a wood box. Yep, it is a wood box. Okay, tape shut and upside down. Wow, look at this. Yeah, this is it already. Five to 30 millimeters or whatever. Uh, let's see, hoping, hoping, huh? And ta-da, there it is. Cheesy box, but who cares? It's gonna go in a drawer anyway. Oh, they give you a test gauge. How nice is that? Why does that feel warm? I don't know. So, let's see here. All right, it's a heavy thing, I'll tell you that. Wow. Oof, oiled too, huh? Yeah, pretty sloppy now. No, it's not rocking, but something's like clicking. Bet you like anything, you can just work with it and get it um, really nice. If this moves, why does the tip move? Oh, for this price, who cares, right? Where's that? I need a paper towel. Uh, is the microphone gonna make it? Yep, makes it. Yeah, it's definitely got oil on it. It's a pretty nice finish to it. Yeah, it just needs to be cleaned up a little bit, oil and stuff like that. I'm not sure. Is that play in there? No, it's not. Can't have play, so. And, yep, yeah, nice. Very nice. So, let's see. <laughs> if I come all the way down, is it going to zero out or do you have to calibrate it? Where is it? Zero. Zero is right here. And mark is over here, so not sure. It's saying 20 thousandths. Uh, I think it was supposed to be 20 thousandths. I don't know. Um, try something here, you know. Let's do 40 thousandths. If I can get it right on 40. Yeah, it's very close to it. Lock this. And then... It's always weird because you got to go backwards with this thing. All right, so if I take it out, is it going to do it? Huh? Hard to hold. Did you come on? Getting closer. <laughs> Very close. I got to figure out how to work this thing. Okay, so there it's. Oh, it just moved. <laughs> the thing I saw it move. But what is it? 20? I don't know how to read this thing. Oh, is this metric? No, shouldn't be. Shouldn't be metric. Well, let me figure out how to work this thing and then bring you guys back. <laughs> okay, after playing around with this for a little bit, it is metric. And this was loose because it wasn't tightened down. I guess I'll take it off. And you can see it's just a double nut on this end. 
here and I'm not sure what that really does yet probably gonna have to watch a YouTube video on this thing oh come on get back on there now can't get it on there it is okay so that tightens it down under this cap is just a, a like a set screw which locks it there's a groove on the top here and it locks it so this doesn't rotate um, probably have to put Loctite on this because this just keeps unscrewing on me I mean it's great if you're going clockwise but kind of clockwise it comes loose the ring is crooked um, these surfaces are well well lapped but the problem is it's that way <laughs> so it's wider at the top by a little bit than the bottom and it is off I don't know how to calibrate it I mean there's it came with the wrench and I started putting it tried to turn it. it's like mm -mm. <laughs> doesn't want to do it so because I'm on uh, yeah this is 10 right there that would be 10 millimeters this too I'm not sure you know digital or only accurate to a thou but so because if I go towards the bottom 10.05 again 10.05 up to 10.07 up towards the tip 10.09 so I mean that's that's uh, only like a few hundredths of a millimeter which is you know not bad um, I did touch the tip of these things to the tool grinder to clean them up they were pretty bad I'll have to do it some more but um, all in all, it's, I don't know, it's pretty good. If I can get it calibrated, though, um, because, what, okay, that was 10, right? Uh, that's zero, but if I put this right on 10, I could probably, uh, yeah, I can't use gauge pins. All right, so, 9, 4, boy, it's tough. All right, there, exactly on 10 and try to use hold it <laughs> which is not easy to do let me tell you all right so i gotta go this way and then i gotta go this way until it clicks right yeah so it's saying where am i oh can't get it out uh yeah there's the zero yeah it's off by about six well, what would that be? Yeah, six millimeters? No, that's five. Yeah, that's six millimeters it's off. So if I can calibrate this thing, that'd be great. Yeah, because I can actually see this line here is this way. It's towards me. It should be up. Well, no, if it's that way. Yeah, it should be. If I'm there and you move it up, no, it's got to go towards me to be accurate. Um... So, I don't know, I just got to do some more playing around here with it. And if you just know it's off by so many millimeters, because, yeah, I did do 5 and 10. I didn't do any more than that, but uh, let me do 15. You know how much it's off, then who cares? Just so long it's consistently off by the same amount. Boy, this is hard to tell when to quit. There, that. I think that, no, that's not 15. One more revolution. There. That should be 15 millimeters. Oh, I got it locked. Alright, so coming out here. Boom, yeah, 1507. 1504. So it's the same thing off as it was on the 10 millimeters. So, uh, I don't know. I don't think I'm going to touch these surfaces. Mmm... Oh, and there, this guy, I'm not sure about either. I mean, it says it's five millimeters. But when I do this, 496. So I'm under here, but when I do this guy, it's over. <laughs> right, 496, I'm getting a consistent reading. This guy, I can, oh, 499. Okay, so 498. Interesting. 499, okay. This guy I can check with a gauge pin here. And be pretty darn close to it. So, uh, all in all, for the price tag, I think I'm pretty happy with this. 
Sorry for the lighting guys, but I got the magnifying glass in here so I can really see what I'm doing. Uh, after playing around with this guy for over a day, quite a few hours, first I was curious, you know, this is supposed to be the precision, I guess, um, tester or calibration, it says five millimeters. And I was wondering whether this is really, how accurate is this guy? You convert five and it's point, uh, one, nine, six, eight. Um, I rounded it here saying one, nine, seven, but it's six, eight. So I was checking it with the gauge pins and I didn't realize my first, very first set that I bought is plus. I thought it was a minus set. So I got to go and find a minus set, but, um, Wanted to just check the instruments, so of course you pull out the gauge blocks, 0.2. So this is, what, three thousandths bigger than this pin. And I check it with this guy, and I'm coming up with a half of a tenth over. You look at the certificate, which I don't believe, it says it's supposed to be half of a tenth under. So, okay, this basically is 0.2. And you measure it with this guy. I'm not sure if you guys are going to be able to see, but it's 0.2 right on the money here. Um, so that's pretty good for a digital. This guy was my most accurate, and so I don't know what's going on with it now. But if yeah, if I measure it with this, and I look under it, it's showing me about a half a thou under. What's that? It's uh. No two tenths under, somewhere's in there. And I did check the zero, and it's zeroing right out. So I'm not sure what gives with that, why this guy is suddenly off, other than wearing out. That's, uh, yeah, it's like <laughs> point, uh, two tenths, a little over two tenths under. So, okay, fine. Um, this guy, the plus thing, this is, a, I'm going to read it again, yeah, 0.197 plus, so this should be plus two tenths. Uh, 197, measure it with this guy, and I got 196 and a half. 197, you can get 197, come on, 197, how did I get six and a half? A dent in these things, I guess. So that says 197, this one says... 197, right? No, I think this was under, yeah, it was six, six and a quarter. Uh, same thing, six and a quarter. So, and you're talking three thousandths difference, and it's off quite a bit, so I don't know what gives with that. But okay, um, to sum it up, I did mess with this thing a lot. Um, it's pretty good. Um, you know, nice this, cleaned it up a little bit, some of the blemishes that were on it. Calibrated it to this thing for five millimeters. And you can see where the line is right here, when it should probably be way up here. I did try to take it apart because I wanted to clean it up and see if I could refine it more. But I couldn't get the double nuts apart. You have to make a special wrench to be able to hold that lower nut to free them up. Let me move these guys out of the way. Um, what else am I going to say? So I'm not sure. I wish you could lock this dial. There's no way to lock it. Um, Pierre's Garage reviewed two of these from Banggood. So he's. if I can find it again, I'll put a link in the description. He did a, a fabulous job of talking about these types of micrometers here. Um, I wish he would come back to He hasn't done a video in a long time. But he'll tell you, yeah, I guess I'm lucky because these are that way. So the peak. So um, I can, you know, close it down here, you know, like that. And just stick this thing on here towards the peak of the stuff. I didn't close it enough. Towards the peak, there. And then just open it up, and I'm right on the zero here. You can spin it around. I'm not far enough up, I guess. We always keep turning this thing backwards. Uh, yeah, I'm about a thou over right now, but 
you know I have tweaked it before and been right on it so yeah I'm one millimeter or so over but um, bottom line is the first one I bought was a wreck the, the spinning this it was terrible feeling returned it this one's better but the bottom line is I would not buy one of these even if it was like a mid to toyo it's very heavy very hard to feel and use um, it's real easy. Uh, I could bring this guy back. All right, if that's five millimeters, go to millimeters. This is real easy to do, and it's really accurate. Uh, watch, you had nine, eight. Not going to be good to me, are you? But I've had tremendous success doing it this way, hitting two tenths. Yeah, nine, six. So I'm not sure what size this whole nine, six and a half. Like I said, I wish I had a minus set. I'm gonna have to look for it. But there's nine, six ahead. There's nine, six and a half. So uh, this guy's measuring pretty darn close. And this guy, I'm not sure what he's gonna read because he's like getting crazy numbers here. But I gotta go in the magnifying glass. This is nine, four. <laughs> So this is a mile off. Gonna get it higher. Nine four and a half. So I don't know what gives with this. Yeah, nine four and a half is the best I got. So that's just my take on this guy. It's nice, but I would never use one of these things. What I was thinking uh, probably is the best way to do it is if you're trying to hit a target. Like say I'm trying to hit um, five millimeters. Yeah, I would also would try to get one that's inches. This is millimeter stuff. So you know, if this locked, I've got it set exactly for five, and then I could che keep checking something to see how close I am. Can I get it on there? No, it won't go on now. <laughs> yeah, definitely not going on. So I'm out of calibration again, or something. Yeah, it's not going in there. Oh, there, it just snugged in, but wow, it's tight. Am I still on? Where is the line? There's the line. I am right on the line, so that's the way I would use this kind of a tool, is you set your target or set one millimeter above your target and then you keep boring or whatever until it goes in there now you know you're real close or whatever so um, I may use it someday but uh, for the price tag uh, it was pretty nice I mean I think it was like 20 bucks I should have looked it up beforehand um, yeah the other thing too this one yeah the finish is blemished I think you can see it someplace there it is all messed up and the other thing is they had a little set screw in here that you have to loosen so you can spin this to calibrate it. The screw was so soft that when they tightened it, they just completely ruined the slot. Most of the head was gone. I took a jeweler's and I could dig and make a deeper slot and was able to back the screw out. It's in the box now. Don't really need it there because it takes a lot to move this. You can move it by hand, but it takes quite a bit of force. So it's not going to move on me. Um, well, hope everybody enjoyed my learning curve here or experimentation. <laughs>